you've been using Canva for a while now, you've probably created Instagram graphics, maybe designed a few presentations, even built a lead magnet or two. But what if I told you that with just one project, you could now manage your entire content campaign. So your Instagram carousel, Instagram story, your Facebook and LinkedIn posts, newsletter header, email draft, website banner, and even your spreadsheet for content planning all in one single project. This is one of the biggest new Canva updates announced at Canva Create this year. And today I'll show you exactly how it works and how to use it as a small business owner or content creator. I'm Natalia and I help you create better content and grow on social media. So let's do this. Let's start with the bigger picture. Now Canva Visual Suite 2.0 isn't just a new layout or a tweak. It's actually quite a huge upgrade to how we manage and create designs across different formats. Until now, creating content or a campaign meant creating many, many projects. This new visual suite changes that because it lets you combine multiple design types, each with different sizes and purposes into one single unified project. For small business owners and content creators, this is huge. It means less time switching between files and more time creating good quality content and actually focusing on other more important things in our business. Now, here's how it works. If you open Canva and start from the homepage, you can actually choose any design you like because the new Visual Suite can be accessed from any type. Now I'll go for a sheet here since it's a new design type we got alongside the suite and it's going to be my first page. By the way, if you want a full sheet tutorial, you can find it right here. And when you open it, the editor looks pretty much the same apart from this little plus sign with the arrow right next to it in your page panel. And it's exactly this tiny arrow that is the key to this whole new way of designing. Instead of just adding another page with a plus sign with a same type like this, which would of course create another sheet. You can actually go for this panel. You can pull up this panel to add any other design type you like. This means a whiteboard, a presentation, any social media uh, stuff in here, print stuff, and of course, custom size as well. So you can access it from here. And then each new format actually opens up a new page inside the same project. So you can see that if I switch between the two, now I have the sheet, then I have the whiteboard. So you know, it's just like switching between your regular pages, but of course, now they all come in different sizes. We've started with a Canva sheet, so we can actually use it as a weekly overview and then map out all of the content we have to batch create and then to schedule. Now, I've got this sheet in here that I've already tweaked from one of the templates, so I'll just use that. And you can actually fill it out with different ideas and formats and link designs. You can even assign roles if you want to or get approval from clients. And this is great, both both if you're someone who loves to stay organized and kind of plan ahead, or if you're just hoping to start posting consistently because you have this bird's eye view over everything you have to produce. So it's much easier to stay strategic and focus on the different tasks at hand. From here, you could literally just start brainstorming and gathering ideas for this week's content or for a campaign. So for example, if I go to um, elements in here, I can just add a sticky note like this and just start bringing different ideas to life. So let's say, you know, content myths like this, you can add another one and then connect these ideas. So I'll, I'll add another one and say content batching. And you can, again, have these categories like this and then start creating different things. Now, this is one example of what a whiteboard like this could look like. This is, of course, like very specific to what I do, but there could be other things when you're generating mood boards, for example. What I love about whiteboards is that here you can actually embed your inspiration. So I have this link to one of my previous reels created. And I actually want to kind of link it to this particular idea in here just to make sure that I'm following a similar format. So I'm just going to literally paste the links. So I copied it from my Instagram and I'm just now pasting it like this. And this is now an embedded element that I can just use in my whiteboard, which is great because if I'm referencing it for myself, I know that this will maybe help me draft a script. Or if I'm referencing it for my team, for example, if I had a big team, I would be able to then show them what I mean for this particular type of content. Of course, this is my own piece of content, but if you wanted to, you could literally embed a great reel or a TikTok to, you know, remix or stitch that you found that was inspiring to you and you want to bring more thoughts into it. And you can link a YouTube video that inspired you to talk about something specific. So this is quite great. You can, of course, drag and drop images for your designs. You can flesh out ideas by connecting them like this or um, build on them further. And if you're working within the team again, you can just collaborate on it together. And the biggest 
benefit in here is that you then have super easy access to everything that you've come up with. And these elements can then be incorporated into your content with a simple copy and paste. So for example, if I went from uh, this particular board, I could go to Canva, or I can go to this particular arrow like this. I've even uh, created these little kind of boxes that I had for my thumbnails. I could just get these text boxes over to a new page. Let's say I'm creating uh, YouTube thumbnails. So I'll maybe go for this in here and I could literally just paste it. And this is how easy it is to access them. Now, once your ideas are developed, you can start with longer form content, like for example, an email newsletter. And for this, I feel like a Canva doc would be perfect. So I'll just go in here to add a new doc. And again, you can see that it seamlessly adds all these different types of designs and I can just keep jumping between them to start developing my content ideas. So I've just pasted one of my old newsletters in here. So this is what it could look like. Basically, the idea would be that you um, maybe at the start just write some ideas, then you maybe outline it. Or maybe if you're in your kind of full creative capacity, you just literally kind of write it out in here. And this then becomes the anchor content and becomes the main piece of content for the week. And then everything else is kind of repurposed from here. Of course, if you have any other longer form content that you produce, like YouTube channel or maybe a podcast, this could also kind of help guide your other types of content. But what I want to show you is that next you could use magic right for example so I could literally just select um, my whole text in here so I'm just going to very very quickly um, just grab it like this and then go to magic right and then go to custom prompt from here so I'm saying give me 20 ideas for a click worthy subject line for this newsletter and I'm just going to hit submit from here you can see that it's going to think and give me some different ideas and it's again not that I would necessarily use them as is but I would be able to just kind of add them below like this and start tweaking and seeing if there's anything that's kind of stirring my imagination. And I actually can um, go to my projects. I actually have my newsletter art banner header. That's just my working design that I have with like very old iterations of my newsletter header. But if I want to just add it, I can just click on one of the pages. It will add it to the doc and I can go um, ahead and maybe drag it to the top. And from here, I can also right click to set it as a banner. And this helps me envision what everything would look like from here I could also go ahead and include any links to use in my newsletter and that means that if I'm then going to schedule it from my email marketing tool I will be able to very easily just find everything that I'm looking for and I'm not scrambling to you know find the links from my YouTube channel or find the links from all my other pieces of content I can just send it as is because I have this beautifully drafted doc that has everything I can possibly need now from here because we are repurposing the next piece could be my Instagram carousel for example. So this is one little update that I want to show you that we now have from within um, the, the kind of Canva Create updates. I'm grabbing, you know, something like this and I want to reuse it for my carousel. I can use the highlighter here at the top, which is again, a new update. And we have the highlight presets in here that I can use to then maybe grab any of the pieces that I think would be great for, um, for a slide, for example, and anything of that nature. I can literally just kind of start selecting like this and maybe color code them for different things. Now, next if I wanted to create that Instagram carousel I could literally just go to the page type like this and from here you can see my Instagram portrait post so I'm just going to click on it and now if I want to I could just go to my brand templates from here I would be able to just add my page like this add another one and just keep kind of adding the new ones each of these slides would basically be my carousel so I have all of it linked like this I could just um, grab anything from my newsletter that I've um, kind of you know selected for myself to then put in my slides and maybe tweak them later on. I also can grab again any of the elements. I can grab my Canva logo if it wasn't already here. I would be able to just add it very quickly like this. So this is how easy it is to then kind of batch create that whole content from my one um, whiteboard and my one sheet within this one project. Once you're done with your carousel, we can then use the text that we've created for the carousel or maybe even something from the newsletter again to tweak it slightly or maybe just use it as is completely. Uh, we can maybe open up another doc so I can literally just to save myself some time add a page right next to my dog because that will create another doc and from here maybe I can kind of outline a little script for my reel and create a mini script and then I can just grab my phone and literally record a talking head style video on my phone and then upload it through the Canva app so then I can just reload that tab and grab it for my uploads or I can record a voiceover straight from within Canva now I've shared a tutorial on it so I'll just link it somewhere down below or uh, somewhere 
here on the screen as well but you can go to social media to add a new page for my reel this is you can see now a video and I'll just use any of my older ones but if I wanted to record a voiceover straight within Canva I can just go to record myself from here and actually I can just go to the studio and start recording a voiceover and then keep building the visuals or you can just go then to um, I'll just grab any of my old uh, pieces of content just so you can see what I can do and then from text you can go and generate captions and we also now have um, animated captions available you will be able to also create karaoke style captions for your reel very easily from here so that's another kind of piece of content that we've just created in um, this style and then we can add a single kind of portrait post so again I want to save time so I'll just add another page within my kind of Instagram carousel and then drag it to the side just to be able to create that little kind of Instagram post so from here let me use again another one of my kind of older ones let's say my everyday shortcuts for example and I want to show you one really great time-saving feature that is absolutely incredible and that pairs perfectly with this new visual suite and I think this one is actually kind of the best pairing that you could imagine so say I want to create a Pinterest post after creating this Instagram post right so what I can do is to just hover over my IG post page right in here and you can see that these three dots appear I can click on it and from here you see this option to resize page now, from here, I want to, of course, create my Pinterest pin. And this is actually suggested to me just because I have used this feature very, very many times before. But of course, you can use any of the other um, design types if you want to. But I'll just go for my Pinterest pin like this. You can see that it's copying and resizing it and then copied and resized. And you can see that I have this new, completely new kind of pin created right from my Instagram page. Of course, now you, this is usually all I have to do but if it's more of a kind of drastic dimensions change I will need to tweak certain things now for any of these posts for my Instagram posts for my Facebook posts or if I'm for my Pinterest pins I can go back to my sheets in here and actually use this space for title or copy in here to flesh out any of the captions like IG caption or Pinterest description and I can just keep adding new posts adding new ideas and just like that I've got a very simple full content batching plan with all my different pieces of content Content, a newsletter, a carousel, single posts, even a reel without ever leaving this project. If I then want to share, I can share it kind of separately in different bits. So for this one, it's a sheet, of course, so I don't think I would be printing that one. But if I wanted to maybe print my newsletter for, you know, kind of easy reference, I could do it in a PDF format from here. Uh, you can see that it suggests PDF as a standard. Like I could gr go and grab all of my PNGs, anything from uh, page number six, let's say. Uh, I could go for page six and then start Start kind of choosing the ones that I want. So I've got six and eight. Um, I could go for nine, then I could go for 12, um, 13, 14, and I could export them all as PNG. So this is how easy it is to then grab all of my content, schedule it out later on. Then you can see these little kind of warnings because this is an incompatible file type. Of course, I cannot create a video from a doc. So these are the limitations. But of course, we're all aware of them when we're creating a batch of different types of contents. So I can just kind of remove the pages from here and I can just grab this mobile video from here and just download it like this. So this is super cool. And this is how easy it is to kind of um, you know batch create content like this now the old way would have meant six different projects maybe in a weekly folder if you organize by dates or all of these different pieces spread out under content category folders but this way it's all in one it's so easy to navigate any fun elements or brand assets are always handy. You can see it all so you can gauge if there's something missing, like a purely promotional piece of content, for example. And it's so easy to hand it off to a VA or a team member if needed, or you can even get approval from clients like this. This is how Visual Suite 2.0 truly, truly changes the game for creators who work on their own or for content teams. If you're working within a team or with clients, everyone can work on different pages of the campaign at the same time, you can leave comments without switching, you can stay on top of any edits in one place and you can also jump on zoom calls and tweak things together in real time you can also go to presenter mode and do a walkthrough live with a client and get their insights this is canva superpower because they've been building this amazing ecosystem to bring everything together visual suite just kind of ties it very well and you can be more productive and more creative but also the workflows become a lot more fun if you've made it this far i know you'll be super impressed by all the other exciting new updates that just launched at canva create so check them out here and i hope you're already imagining the ways you can use this multi-design project in your own workflow let me know in the comments what you think about it and make sure you subscribe because i have tons more ideas for workflows and how to make your life easier as a content creator 
Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.